Hey everyone, in this video I want to share a few intentions and affirmations in order to avoid and heal up an argument or a quarrel or a fight with somebody, your loved one or your partner or another person. This extends to both people, you and the other party. So the first intention is that I intend, say this to yourself, okay? I intend not to hurt or cause any more pain in the other person or myself. I intend to wait just a little bit before I automatically react and jump to judgment and name calling in my mind and accusing them of being wrong in my mind or in my words. I intend to be quiet in my mind and heart-centered in my heart and in my response and in my words. I intend to speak words that promote healing. And help people to forgive and to let go and to open up in their heart instead of words that cause pain, hurt and a closed heart for everybody. Here is an affirmation you can say to yourself. I am peace, I am love. I am goodness. And here's another one. They are a beautiful spirit and everybody is just trying their best here. And it's hard here on earth, it's a challenge. And they're such a beautiful innocent creature who's in pain and hurt right now and so am I. I intend to be the silent, quiet, still, peaceful, loving space that chooses my words carefully and my response carefully, that does not jump to reactions and judgments and resistance towards the other person. So guys, if you try these few affirmations and intentions, I intend to build and heal the relationship instead of creating more hurt. Say any of these things, use your own creativity. It's all really about tuning into your heart and tuning out of your automatic, very fast paced mental reactions and verbal and physical reactions. If you can do this, you can avoid and heal an argument or a fight. Another thing I'd recommend and suggest is speak your case in a very loving, gentle way. But don't keep repeating yourself or arguing or quarreling the same point over and over again in, in like a fight to be... Yeah? Yeah, okay. I wouldn't mind jumping into the river if you want first. Maybe. I'm just finishing a little video. But I won't be long. So, I intend to let go of the need to be understood right now. I let go of the need to be right right now. I let go of the need to have my needs met right now by the other person. I let go of the of I let go of needing to be heard or understood or having compassion on me right now. And I intend to just give the other person some space to help them find their equilibrium. I intend not to talk too much and to let go and just quit, quit the conflict. And that will allow a faster space to arise in life 
for all of us to find our balance and equilibrium and heart again. And second of all, it will allow everyone to find their mental space so they're not stuck in their mental automatic thought patterns of hurt, pain and reactivity and conditioning. So I, I intend to tune into the silent watcher within me, pure consciousness, silent consciousness, that exists beyond and beneath thoughts, beyond every word. In between every word there is silence, in between every thought there is silence and a gap is space. Affirm to yourself, I am the silent watcher, the silent witness. And then say, I am. And just feel the peaceful quietness that exists without words. In between every sentence there is also a gap, a quietness of space, just the same way as there's a gap of silent space in between words. So speak your words and sentences very, 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 very carefully. Allow yourself to speak quieter, like the way I am now, instead of full of hurt, pain, judgment, wrong name and wrong calling of the other person. And causing more hurt and pain within everybody. So we, all, we need to give space so we can heal our own pain and hurt and them too. And if you do think or feel the need to express yourself after a little bit of time, try do it extremely carefully where you admit that you could be wrong or may, maybe I'm being oversensitive or I'm sorry if I'm overreacting, I'm sorry if I'm too tired and I'm over oversensitive. I don't want to like sound like I'm, I'm calling you as if you're just like a bad person or wrong. Say some of these words in some way or another. Allow them to feel like you're not criticizing or attacking them or saying that they're the per only person who's wrong. And, and then they will, people always react not favorably when they feel judged, attacked, or like we're telling them that they're the ones who are wrong. So you have to be gentle and even like say about yourself like you can be wrong or you are wrong to a degree. Or, Criticize yourself almost, like, um, not exactly, but something along those lines, if you understand me. And uh, feel welcome to say a sorry and a thank you for them to listen to you lovingly and caringly and tenderly. And I intend to affirm to yourself on it, the intention, I intend to respect their emotions and honor their past, where their emotions are coming from. So that's all I want to say everybody, I hope this video, and I'll put up a link to my other video about ways to avoid and heal arguments too up here, and I hope the combination of both have helped you in your life, and I sincerely wish you the best in your life and your happiness and relationships. Thanks for supporting me in my life and my channel, and if anyone would like one-to-one -one help in life, spiritual life, coaching, and health, relationship and communication coach, communication coaching, or to support me or to buy any herbs, superfoods, enzymes or um, essential oils from my shop, please have fun and enjoy looking below on the links. Thanks for your time and I wish you a beautiful day and week and life. See you again another time and look forward to hearing from you on Facebook or social media and connecting. Bye everybody. This is beautiful Canada in the Similkameen Valley in Costa.